This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Ayonte Dahl, and we have me here to see Tesla Model S Long Range Palladium. Well, now we just call it Tesla Model S, but it's the Long Range, not the Plaid. So, in this video, I'm going to do a range test. Finally, it's proper summer, and we have summer tires on. So, this is uh, Pirelli P0. But uh, are we going to get some good consumption numbers? Because the front tires are 255, 45, 19, fairly wide compared to Raven. And then the rear tires are, uh oh, 285, 40, 19. Oh, I mean, the, the Palladium here has better aerodynamics than the previous generation Model S. But will that be enough? Will the tires ruin the consumption? Well, let's find out. So, um, by the way, I have tried to hook up uh, Scan my Tesla here, but it gave me some weird numbers. So maybe I need to update. You see here, there's the stuff, right? It could be that uh, I need to update the software. From time to time, the signals will be messed up. Yeah, there's a software update waiting for me now. And then trip is just messed up now. And also uh, I can't see state of charge, all the, yeah. So, um, whatever. So, we, we don't look at this one. Just to close it. And we just use the trip meter instead. So, let me see. Go here. Yeah, we use the trip meter here. It doesn't have uh, a decimal in the distance. But whatever. We just measure consumption and see what we get. Oh, there's a search. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay. So, uh, I guess I'll be... Yeah, you see. Oh, it's 20 degrees Celsius. I know. I just run in the 22, nice and warm in here, and then I guess we'll start with the 90 test first. Alright, we're on the move. You have to cruise at 92 kilometers per hour on the speed though, to match the 90 GPS speed. And um, since we already know the battery capacity here, uh, we only need to measure the consumption. So let me see. Oh man, it's so nice to be back in Tesla. Look how smooth the navigation is. Oh, so I think it's enough to just drop. You see here? I'm gonna do this. Oh, drive there. Hallelujah! Lord Elon Musk is the king! Okay, yeah, let me see. And uh, there, and back again. Yeah, that should be a good enough loop. It's around 40 kilometer round trip. So that would give us an, an indication of uh, what uh, consumption would be. So, yeah, I can feel, even at 22 degrees Celsius in the cabin, I feel like it's blowing a little bit of uh, cold air. But that's fine. So, um, yeah, man, it's so nice to be in Tesla. We have auto steer, uh, autopilot going smooth. There is no zigzag. There is no power uh, input. Uh, there is no uh, no power uh, pulsation. The 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 no 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 no. This is Tesla, the best of the best. Oh, you're nice. Still 19 degrees Celsius over here. And then how is Mjusen? Oh, there's a little bit of wind. Seems like tailwind. Yeah, yeah, we have tailwind now. Oh, consumption, 138, but we have downhill and tailwind. Oh, can this beat the winter tire result with also lower temperature, colder weather? Oh, I guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll turn around over here. I think this is good enough. What's this uh, 20 kilometer distance so far? Yeah, that's that should be good enough. 90 test. 149 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh, it's just slightly better than the, the colder result with winter tires. Uh, but uh, this car is thirstier than Raven, but Raven was equipped with skinnier tires. So, ooh, let's try the 120 test then. Yeah, it's getting green now in Norway. All right, that's good. Finally. So over here is 18 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I, and do you see 8.24 in the evening? And the sun is still okay, still up at least. So yeah, I guess I'll go one more uh, turn around. Yeah, I'll go to um, Espa and then the turn around. So uh, many times when I take the short loop, I will turn around here at Strandlycha. But this time I want to go for a longer one, just to even out any uh, yeah spikes or anything like that. So so far 190 watt hour per kilometer. Okay, so far it's a good way. What is the wind over here? Typically there, it will be windy. Yeah, see. It's slightly windier at uh, um, Minnesun, but over here it's almost uh, no wind. Cool. That is good for consumption. 
All right, we are heading back now, and great news! Um, it's kind of my Tesla works now. I found out that <laughs> you just have to configure it. When you click here and you choose car, uh, you can choose Model S or X, but that's the old one. So you have to choose Model 3 or Y, and then the, 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 all the data is correct. So yeah, this is what I used before. So I guess I haven't uh, <laughs> driven the Palladium lately. I've been testing so many other cars, and I've been using Car Scanner, not Scan My Tesla, which is another app. But okay, all good. Oh, consumption 197 watt hour per kilometer. Uh, it's uh, slightly worse than Raven. Despite having better drag coefficient than Raven. Oh, distance here is spot on against uh, Google. It's also supposed to be 77 kilometers. So it seems like the distance, uh, co distance is correct at least. So, but it's better than uh, uh, the winter result. Hmm. Okay. Let me uh, crunch some numbers. So yeah, you see that um, compared to Raven, then the Palladium is actually less efficient uh, simply because of the tires. So yeah, if we put some uh, skinny tires here, it would be better, but then I'm not sure if it's even allowed because uh, uh, the Palladium, you can actually see it's fatter uh, around the wheel arches, it's fatter, it's supposed to take bigger wheels. So it, with, with this one, but also especially the Plaid. So I'm actually not sure if I would bother doing Sunday driving because uh, it's not going to be that great, really. The consumption it will not be ultra low unless we have skinny tires. But at least compared to EQS, you see that this Model S beats the EQS in efficiency. Okay, it was a little bit cold in the EQS. Maybe it was warmer, it would be neck on neck. But then remember that this uh, this Model S is actually a f as fast as the beefiest EQS, not the, the not the 500 or the 450 plus even. So. Yeah, uh, it seems like, okay, uh, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, maybe I had too high expectation because uh, better aerodynamics on the Palladium. But, you know, it is what it is. When you put fat tires on any cars, it will be less efficient. And then it boils down to, okay, how efficient is the drivetrain? And then what about aerodynamics? And what about heat management or, or you know, energy management in general? So, okay, Tesla is pretty good. I have to uh, claim that, but <laughs> it's just the tires, yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think, yeah, soon I will do 1000 kilometer challenge because I did it when it was cold, that was considered the winner test, but now when it's warmer, I think we're gonna have a winner. This car we're sitting in right now might break or might hit or maybe even break the nine hour mark. No car has ever been as fast as nine hour before. The fastest one is this one, in winter ish yeah it was 905 uh, the same as the eqs rear wheel drive in summer yeah and then the nine hour uh, uh speeds the, those were uh, cheated by uh, neo with battery swap so anyway i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later